Welcome to Dr. Just Runs, and I'm gonna rant about the cesspool of the internet. No, no, it's not Polygon. It's the other cesspool. No, no, it's not Reset Error. It's the other cesspool. Ah, think about it, the internet has a lot of cesspools. No, no, it's not BuzzFeed. I Trust me, it's also not CNN. Mm -mm. No, 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 it's not Screen Rant either. Or the gamer. Fine, fine, I'm gonna reveal it. It's Kotaku. Right. Sorry, but Hollywood is making a Duke Nukem movie. The folks behind Cobra Kai on Netflix are working on this film adaptation of the 90s FPS. Yeah, I pretty much assume the voice of the guy who wrote this article kind of sounds like that. I assume. Allegedly. Maybe. Hmm, I don't know. It, fe it seems fitting. Look, first and foremost, I'm the first one to say, uh oh, and ah, shit. Another franchise going down the drain. Because, let's face it, Hollywood, 2022, well, current year, more or less, is so woke that the chances of them to actually make this movie right is nearly zero. Let's face it, there's a chance that the Duke Nukem here may be um, a simple one or maybe a black woman Ixon of color Ixon or something like that. Or, I don't know, maybe he is a uh, transgender, um, something, something guy, and uh, instead of killing aliens in the real world, he is killing aliens via computer, <clears throat> or uh, makes a reference to burn loot and something, something thereabouts, and, uh, Something, something bad about cops and things like that because of one of the aliens that are pigs and they are reference to cops and things like that. But uh, chances are it's going to be all of those things. But there's a small glimmer of hope, which is exactly what the idiot in this Kotaku article has problem with. Right. I hate to ruin your Friday night, uh, right as uh, the weekend is starting, but I bring some troubling news from the land of Holy Weird. Seems the creative folks behind Cobra Kai and the Karate Kid revival have decided they want to make a movie, a full-length film based on their once popular Niger's first-person shooter character Duke Nukem. 32 continues to be a strange year. <laughs> Why is this guy having a problems with these people? Why? Because... The creators of Cobra Kai actually did respect for 99% the source material they based their series on. 99%. That's why the this, this show became actually a hit and not a disaster like we've been seeing kind of lately in everything else. Looking at you, Stranger Things. And looking at you, Star Wars, Star Trek, hmm, right, ring a bell, yeah, rings of power, maybe? Anyway, he wants it to go woke. Hollywood, Hollywood reporter is reporting, uh, is... That legendary entertainment has licensed the Luke Nukem franchise films right from Gearbox and is now planning to make a new movie with the character. I just wish Gear Gearbox would give the Duke Nukem name back to 3D realms, but eh. What up, OG? According to the outlet, this new project will be produced by Cobra Kai creators Josh Harold and John Horwitz and Hayden Schlossenberg. Jean Julian Baronet, who previously worked on the film adaptation, don't care. 3D Realms, known as Apogee, launched the first game. I don't care. 
After 3D and some expansions, the brand went mostly dormant until 2011, when the long-awaited follow-up Duke Nukem Forever, which took finally to took forever to release, finally saw release. It sucked, and since then, the future of Duke Nukem as a franchise has seemed unlikely. This isn't the first time Duke Nukem film has been developed. The Hollywood Reporter notes Paramount was working on Duke Nukem Project signing John Cena for a few years. Imagine living in that timeline. Yeah, John Cena, not a very good dude. Sorry. Mm. Maybe Chris Pratt will do a good Duke Nukem. I'm thinking about it. Maybe. I just need to know, maybe somebody who has a better jaw. And you to have a manly jawline. Right. Imagine living in that timeline. Well, this project would also fail. To happen and stand a much better chance. As Hollywood has become much more interested in pumping out movies and TV shows based on famous video games. Yeah, look at you, Halo. Which is not quite Halo. Gearbox, when Rich had no additional comment. Nobody has a comment for Kotaku because nobody here cares about them! Right. Right. <sighs> the right, no writer or director has yet picked up a force at gunpoint to join the current project and bring life to Duke Nukem. That means we still have time. We can stop this. Why? I think there might be a way to make it make a funny, possibly even good Duke Nukem film. And start with him being a washed up loser who had one big moment saving the world back in the 90s and has been riding out that bit of the fame for the past 30 years. But to find out the rest of that story, you'll need to hire me as a writer as spec script. First and foremost, no. Secondly, this is actually shitty, shitty, shitty storytelling. This is not how you write Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem needs to be a badass, kind of a comedy and, and uh, kind of a parody of the 80s and 90s mm, super buff male movies, action movies type of hero. It needs to be all of that. And he also needs to be crass, he needs to be insulting, he needs to be everything, all of those things. He also needs to be a misogynist, he needs to be a sexist or womanizer and all of those things because that was Duke Nukem. He is completely and utterly unaware of all of, this, all of those things because he is a parody of all of those movies, all tumbled up together. Duke Nukem 3D was great because of that, because of all of those jokes, because of all of those one-liners that he would bump out. It was great, no matter if the actor today who makes his voices are a bit woke, but still, that was Duke Nukem back then. Why can't we get that today? Because woke retards, and quite frankly, it's expected from uh, Kotaku that they would be pretty much against something like that. But then again, it's current year. It's pretty much expected for us to get a woke movie that makes absolutely no sense within the Duke Nukem world. Oh well, it's shit. Everything is going to be shit. I have no hopes about this movie to ever release, and if it does, I also have no hope that it's actually good. Because chances are, even though the guys have a good track record with Cobra Kai, there is still a chance that it's going to be woke, miserably woke garbage that is going to be unfucking watchable. Sorry, but I have very, very little faith on Hollywood right now, even if the track record of the guy is stellar. I'm sorry, I just don't. After seeing Star Trek, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Halo, I'll oh, fall to this mess. It's not my fault if I have no faith. On that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night.